Hi guys, today's topic is how to write test case in software testing and what are the best practices. So when uh, we write the test case, uh, we have to keep in mind that the test case should be very simple and transparent. We need to avoid test case repetition. We must ensure 100% test coverage. Now let's start uh, how we can write the test case with real-time example so here uh, uh, before writing the test case uh, I will show you how to identify the test requirement and after identifying the test requirement we have to identify the test scenario so in my case uh, the test requirement uh, is login page and the requirement ID uh, is 1 and this scenario I have identified uh, for this test requirement is like the verification of login functionality and you can enlist some other test scenario over here and the test scenario ID is 1.1 and 1.2 1.3 uh, this way you can write it. so after uh, identifying the test scenario now we can uh, write the test case so here the test case uh, template I have written over here. This is my test case. This is the uh, template, standard template uh, for writing any test case. So I have written here uh, two test case for for this uh, login uh, test scenario. Uh, so one is uh, uh, verify that user is not able to log in with valid username and invalid password this is my test case name and test case ID is 1.1.1 that means this test case belongs to the this test scenario means 1.1 and this test scenario belongs to this test requirement that is why I am written here the test case ID as 1.1.1 so this is my test case name and next part is entry criteria it is very much important before uh, execute any test case uh, we have to identify the entry criteria what is required for executing this test case so in my case uh, the application is ready for testing this is the point number one and point number two is test data is ready for testing so this is my entry criteria for executing this test case next what is test, test step so for this test case I have uh, written three test steps one is go to website login page this is the first test step and the expected result for this test step I have to identify here and this is required before executing the test case so uh, you can write it as the login page should be displayed properly this is the expected result for this test case and uh, next part is uh, actual result I will discuss on it later and after uh, writing uh, expected result we have to identify the priority of this test case uh, Priority means how much it is uh, important to the customer. We have to identify here. So uh, we can identify it as priority one means priority is high. The next part is severity. Severity means how much it is important in respect to the functionality. How much how much it is critical in respect to the functionality. So you can write the severity. If it is high, then it is S1. And status, this is you can write the status part after executing the test result. <coughs> Next part is uh, author uh, who will write the test case. The name will be uh, you can write here in the comments part. And uh, the test step two is enter invalid user id and invalid password 
and the expected result you can write it as user id and password should be entered properly and this way you can identify all this and the step number three is click on submit button and the expected result will be login credential should not be validate and an error should be shown this is the expected result and uh, you have to identify the priority p1 as it is very high for the customer point of view and severity will be also high and if uh, it is uh, pass then you can write it as pass or fail so so before executing the test case you have to complete this part this part and this part and after uh, uh, preparing the test case when you execute the test case then you have to write the actual test result and the status of the test result so in this test steps for this test step uh, go to the website login page the expected result is login page should be displayed properly and the actual result you can write if it is passed then login page displayed properly and status of the test step is passed and for this test step uh, the actual result is user ID and password entered properly and the status is passed and step number three click on submit button the actual result if it is passed then you can write it as the login credential is not validated and an error shown you have to write it over here and the status if it is passed then you can write it as pass if the uh, page is related to the profile page then obviously the test case is fail then you can write it as fail for that case so this is my test case number one and this is test case number two the same way you can write it here the test case number two is uh, verify that user is able to log in with valid user id and valid password and you can write the remaining part the same way So this is the standard uh, template for writing the test case and you can use this template for uh, any tool if you want to use any tool you can uh, write in this way if you have the if you have the uh, knowledge to write the test case you can use any tool and write the test case properly so if you uh, like this video it will be very much uh, helpful for me and I will obviously uh, upload some other videos also. So please uh, like this video and uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.